Item hash. SCP-1974-X. Object class. Explained. Special containment procedures SCP-1974-X specimens are to be contained in a standard small item lockbox in the research and development storage area of Site-55. When handled by personnel not being subjected to an experiment, butyl rubber or nitrile NBR, rubber gloves should be worn to prevent exposure to anomalous effects drugs embedded within the SCP-1974-X material. Affected personnel must be removed from duty and quarantined until the effects of SCP-1974-X wear off approximately 36 hours. Description. SCP-1974-X or 20-sided dice commonly referred to as D20s in role-playing games, which appear to be composed of a standard acrylonitrile butadine styrene abs polymer. Anyone handling SCP-1974-X for 5 minutes continually, or over approximately 1 hour when SCP-1974-X is used in a typical role-playing game, is subject to the effects of hallucinations and extreme suggestibility. When SCP-1974-X is used in the role-playing game, approximately 90% of affected subjects believe the game parameters and environment to be real, and begin to act accordingly. Effects typically persist for 36 hours. The remaining 10% of exposed subjects experience miscellaneous hallucinations typical of an unintentional exposure to LSD-25 or psilocybin, as do subjects exposed to SCP-1974-X and not offered intentional or unintentional behavior suggestions. Analysis has determined that in SCP-1974-X, the ABS has been combined with redacted, a solvent and carrier similar to dimethyl sulfoxide DMSO, but solid at room temperature. This is used to introduce a dose of an ergotamine derivative, the long-acting hallucinogen. In addition, SCP-1974-X contains a transmitter emitting non-audible sounds at frequencies of redacted, generating a psychoacoustic effect that combines with the hallucinogen to cause extreme suggestibility in SCP-1974-X exposed subjects. Since SCP-1974-X is merely a novel means of hypnotizing subjects and secretively dosing them with hallucinogens, it is hereby declassified as an SCP and removed from the main SCP database as of 08-16-1992. Collection of further uncontained specimens is now a police matter and will not be conducted by Foundation agents. Due to the potential uses in clandestine activities and humanoid SCP control, Foundation Research and Development has requisitioned the supply of SCP-1974-X, and is developing the means to reproduce its effects in different formats. Addendum. SCP-1974-X came to the Foundation's attention when a large quantity were distributed as free samples during Redacted, Con, a science fiction and fantasy convention held in, on slash slash 19. Over 200 individuals were detained after exhibiting bizarre behavior resulting in fatalities, injuries, and numerous incidents of property damage and disorderly conduct. Specimens of SCP-1974-X were confiscated, and the incident attributed to mass hysteria caused by an unusual variety of food poisoning. Incident Log 1974-01 the following is an excerpt from a list of incidents reported shortly after the initial release of SCP-1974-X to the public. It demonstrates that while many affected subjects engage in harmless but absurd behavior, others pose a danger to themselves and others, especially to unsuspecting or defenseless persons. 
severely beat Hotel Doorman, believe the victim was an orc subject successfully restrained with minor injuries, restrained while casting a fireball by chanting in an unknown language, waving a pool cue, and burning a carefully arranged circle of kitchen spices. No injuries reported, claimed to work for Redacted, after playing a game of paranoia, interrogated and released when it was determined that subject had no knowledge of genuine classified information, killed by police after charging a group of officers with a butcher knife, while shouting blood for the blood god, attempted to sacrifice his sister to summon Yogg-Sothoth after playing Call of C-T-H-U-L-H-U. Data expunged. The source of SCP-1974-X remains unknown. Relevant information anonymously transferred to Police Department for continuing investigation. Footnotes 1. The Foundation takes no responsibility for the presence of hallucinogenic pens at the Marshall, Carter, Ampersand, Dark Auction on slash slash 20.